What's up? And good afternoon. Hope you have your lunch. Anyway, seems like a lot of people is very interested in this close comfort, close comfort um personal cooler thing that I just received. Yesterday, I bought it on uh, Sunday or Monday. I received it yesterday, which is a Wednesday. So it took me two days. Uh, two, how much it costs? Six hundred forty-five dollars. And if you want installment, then you don't buy from Close Comfort website. You can buy it from Lazada. You can buy it from Shopee. With installment roughly about fifty something dollars per month. A lot of people still asking. Hence this video. And I, the way I look at it is, ah, just do this video and see how things goes, huh? Uh, just let you see where it is placed right now. Cool air is blowing towards me about a meter away, two meters away. It uses a 300 watt, um, how would say that, a motor that uses a refrigeration kind of unit. 300 watts refrigeration unit that blows cold air one side which is this side and then the hot air is blowing towards my window there do is this part of the room a bit, a bit warmer I wouldn't say there is a huge difference but once you come out from the cooling region which is in front of my monitor here in my workstation yes that this area is cooler and then hence once you go to that side of the room it becomes warmer because it's relative you get cooled and then you go down there and then yeah it feels a bit warmer uh, Elaine was asking how's the uh, maintenance like and all those things I'll get to that later but 300 watts refrigeration unit there is no water needed I don't have a place to put ice as well uh, just give you a quick look from the back there is a reservoir for water here it's for the condensate that means for condensed water but this system actually do not need to collect the water what it does is it has something behind or inside the system that actually splashes all this condensate the condensed water onto the onto the onto the system the refrigeration unit and help cool down the air and blows up towards my chair which is about meter maximum two meters the height is about somewhere like slightly taller than a stool some people will just say that can this thing blows up to your face uh, to me is once I sit down it actually blows towards my my neck uh, here's my chest level my neck level so it will actually blowing towards my neck and my face so it actually cools down this is the, actually the most important part your shoulder your neck and your head is where it needs to cool down once you feel this part of the area of your body has cooled down generally you feel very very comfortable already you need not to cool down the whole room just to cool the head and the shoulders it works for me some people just say i want the whole room to be cool then yeah this this unit this unit doesn't work for you um weight wise uh, it's a bit on the heavy side it's a 10 plus kg uh, that's why it has wheels at the bottom There are four wheels at the bottom roller wheels You can actually shift it around the, the house even to bring it somewhere They have a carrier bag, but usually I think using a, a trolley will be a better idea lah. Um, Yeah, it take two to three days to deliver this thing so I bought it on the I forgot when I bought it. I think I bought it on Monday because Sunday was 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 warm I was sitting in my uh, with the fan blowing and like in the sofa watching watching TV actually watching watching my church uh, uh, sermons on, on TV so it got me thinking that this is ridiculously hot uh, so I have to find a solution for that um, like I said I do not want to deal with water so this thing doesn't come with I don't have there, there is no reservoir for to pour in water there is no reservoir to put in ice at, where, at the, where the outlet is uh, so it works for me I, I just don't want to handle water with electrical things around it it's, it's just also not very safe if there's kids coming around mm, the way I see this thing is, is does it help to with all the all the improvements to the system what, what I mean by improvements is that they, they actually have uh, 
this thing called a uh, focus cooling or cool cool focus is it's actually pushing this fin down to squeeze the air stream towards here and then pushes it a bit further I can feel about about two meters that is still a huge breeze like around here as well I still can feel the breeze uh, but for me if it's personal I just open it this up how to clean these things very simple as well I just take up this flap there is there is a uh, oops there is this uh, felt filter that you actually can wash it under water okay just put back in and you can <laughs> the stupid stream of air is really really strong here uh, later I take it out lah. but anyway I took it out and put it in the sun because it's a bit of a bit strong this is quite light actually to go and there is the filter here that you actually also push it run it with water this is for dust prevention something like your aircon uh, so you have this thing in front there is one behind there's also another one here fairly simple this is using the air to push out a hot air so here's the filter so there's two air inputs here two air inputs with the filters you only need to wash three things one thing two thing perhaps this filter uh, this fin focus cooler as well just to make sure you know every you don't have dust you don't have germs um, just wash it intermittently lah maybe a couple of days of usage uh, if you use a week maybe once a week i think should be also should be fine too what is the cons um it's for one person maximum two if you're sitting pretty around it if let's say there's two persons sitting uh, next to each other I'll use this thing to blow in the center so that it spreads out to the both of us in in that area um, yeah the hot air if you if you push it out to some place where there's no body then I think it's fine and so my, my main aim is to actually to cool myself if it's for the whole family then I rather that you just cool the whole room then three or four persons can share the whole whole cool, cool room uh. but it's personal and it's much better than a circulator or a fan because the, the circulation as the name implies is circulating the air if the hot air is around the fan the circulate circulation fan of course then the fan will actually blow hot air towards you that's the reason why but this thing uh it's not cheap but at least it runs 300 watts or roughly about six cents per hour using the 18 cents 20 cents or seven cents if you include GST uh, with uh, with the local electrical supplier that you have. So it's around seventeen point something cents or eighteen cents, lah. Huh? Um, and maintenance, it's pretty easy the way I see it. Some people, some people say I want maintenance. Fee. I think this is a bit impossible, especially when it comes to our humidity. There will definitely be more somewhere. Yeah, talk about more. Um. That's the, that is a disadvantage is that although this is plastic but as hot cold air comes in there is condensation on the fins so before you keep it best to actually use use a, a cloth to dry it your tablecloth to, to dry it before you you keep the whole thing although there is a remote control here which is here it's more useful with the igloo there is a tent for sleeping that you don't want to go and touch the system because it will be outside the tent so you just point towards it and then on and off the thing how to on and off this i didn't even need this thing i just close the two flaps and it will be off automatically so yes designed by australian professor of engineering in a university of western australia uwa uh he won some prizes because of this thing honestly 300 watts man come on <laughs> it's better and less it's actually quieter than your typical cooler and uh, that you find it in um, uh, all the electrical shops that's why i i mean yes 
true enough, I actually got out of the limb. I'm actually like guessing how this thing will work, how well it work. It leads me to do some research online. There's good and there's bad. I think right now the good, which is I, one person, cool myself instead of switching on the aircon. Such a big BTU here, 18,000. And this guy is just only 3k, but it's good enough. If 3,000 BTU is good enough just for me alone in front of my PC. So long I don't sweat, I know, like bucket slow in front of freaking PC while trying to do some work. And I can tell you that the last few days, look at it, it's freaking hot outside. <laughs> This is a saver for me. In terms of work, in terms of heat, or lack of heat, and in terms of comfort, I think $650, I, I think it's a good bargain. Huh? If, even if this thing doesn't, uh, I don't use it often enough, perhaps even Chinese New Year when visitors come here, I actually can I help it to blow a bit. At least one part of, of people who come and visit, at least they're cooler especially at the dining area which I have no icon at all so that's my long term my, my long term planning la, or my long term uh, uh, decision making process la. if I don't use it for myself I actually can cool a, a small little area where people can feel a bit more comfortable la. it's not going to be extremely cold but at least I still feel right now at the moment I feel that well it's it's about 20 something plus degrees la, with the air stream coming in through me uh, to me right now I hope this uh, small little video uh, helps you and uh, if you want to know more then here are the FAQs for close comfort you can get it online and I think a lot of questions are, are answered here as well I actually mentioned some of them in, in this small little video troubleshooting and maintenance are all here uh, it's, it's a simple machine uh. just open the two flaps behind and forward and everything switch on I want to off it, just close everything off. There's no water to... I don't need to take out water. I just need to wipe down perhaps when, if there's condensation on the fins. Yep, that's it guys. See you soon.